your bomb here. Uh, if uh, if it is possible to actually close our borders, do you think closing the borders would solve the U.S. drug problem? Not in. I'm sorry. Not entirely. Obviously, we have homemade. But Missouri is one of the well, one of the capitals of making meth. Uh, so you always have a drug problem. It's like we have an alcoholism problem and me and my tobacco problem. But uh, that would sure cut it down. Obviously, if drugs are brought in in mass like they're current, according to people I know that are in the narcotics field, not sellers, but enforcers, that the more they bring in, the cheaper it goes. And so it's cheaper access, especially for young people, to acquire. And so if we shut it down, if nothing else, it caused the price to go up. And so therefore, you'd have less kids and people that would be getting involved in it. See, most of the marijuana now comes from Mexico. Uh, even meth, which used to be homegrown. Most of that's coming from Mexico now. Uh, and so, then obviously things like cocaine, heroin are coming from abroad. Heroin to me, cocaine from South America. But it won't solve the problem. Nothing's going to solve all the world's problems. But it would be a big, big, big help. And the, the crime and the drug problem are huge in the United States. And if anybody who lives in St. Louis, the most violent city in the United States, can doubt this, I don't know what to tell you. How do you close the border? Are you inquiring of me? Uh, yes, I'm asking you, how do you do it? We're talking, what, almost 2,000 miles of, right. of, of Mountains, rivers, <coughs> desert, uh, crossing people's land, crossing where cattle go back and forth. All right, how do you do it? So tell me how you do it. It can be done. Russia's got a longer border with China, and they've closed their borders. Now that communism is fell, and they don't have all the Turkmeni countries to help them that they used to control, so they're short of manpower, and now they're starting to have a huge immigration problem from China. It can be done, but you're going to have to give great latitude to the military. As I said before, in most countries of the world, the military, their best units are border control units. Yes, we can, we've got the capability. You'll never shut it down a thousand percent, a hundred percent, even maybe eighty percent you can shut down. But you, it, now it's just a sieve. They, they just come over, it, it, we don't stop them. The, the border patrol says at best, they get about one out of every 10. But it's not just the uh, bringing over human cargo. And a lot of times these girls are being brought in, especially from the Orient and Mexico are brought in as prostitutes. It's not that they're just coming in to take our jobs, but you got criminals, that, who would they, the Al Qaeda guy they just caught smoking in the trunk of a car the other day. And so we don't know who's coming in. We've got to do something. You're never going to seal it off 100%, but they can sure do a whole lot better job than they're doing it now. And we've got the resources, and we've got the military, and if you put them on the border, and they've been, and the states have been begging them to do that for years, they even volunteer the National Guard, and the federal government doesn't want to lose any votes, so they say, no, we better not. We can do it. It won't be 100%. It'd be a whole lot better than it is now. That's just like saying, uh, if I put all the safety stuff in my house, we'll guarantee I won't get burglarized. No, but it'll sure help a whole lot. So just out of, out of curiosity, are you, uh, you made some comments about the, uh, about, I guess it, it sounded like mismanaging our resources in terms of our wars in uh, Afghanistan and Iraq. Are, are you suggesting that we pull out sooner rather than later to, to divert okay. resources? Well, this is really off the issue, but I don't think we ought to look there in the first place. Well, sure. I, I don't think the United States, and I'm not like to say to my family, I'm not to just state the fact that fought in every war this country's fought since the French Indian War, literally. And so I'm glad that my, I've got uh, three sons, two grandsons, both my grandsons went in the military. But then, if I want to see their little bound bodies die for a cause that I'm not even sure what it's for. There's nothing, since Alexander the Great, Afghanistan, nobody wants to conquer it. You can go over and defeat them, but you can't conquer it. Well, what do you got when you conquer a bunch of 
stark mountains and people that are meadows. And so why would we want to conquer them? Uh, we got no business. This is not our thing. George Washington told us not to get involved in foreign intrigues. And I'm not sure why we're over there. It's not for oil in Afghanistan. They don't have any. And we're getting, we're spitting our nose into everything. We're just busy bodies. And a lot of the people, Republicans and Democrats, think we ought to be the world police force. And I personally, I'm sure we got a lot of our members who may disagree with me on this, but I just personally don't think we ought to be the world's police force. I don't want my sons and grandsons to die for a cause that's not even a cause. It's just because somebody else thinks it's a good idea. I mean, there's no, you know, so who cares who runs Afghanistan? So, yeah, I'd like to see us bring them home. But now we've got such a mess. If you try to bring them home at this stage, you're going to lose a lot of boys and girls. Unfortunately, these girls in combat now, too. And I'd hate to see us. Uh, just jump up and try to leave because then we're going to lose a lot of people. And then you're going to have a lot of disappointed young men with one leg and one arm and, you know, they've been all mutilated and shot up. They fought a war for nothing. And how do you tell them that? They meant well. They were doing their duty for God and country. And then they come back all maimed if they come back. And this is, I met a young girl down in Tennessee. She'd been all shot to pieces, Army. And they put her out in combat missions. And I really felt sorry for this girl. It was sad. Her head was screwed up. And, uh, but no, I don't think we ought to be fighting wars all the way around the country that don't have anything to do with our internal security. We've got enough problems here that we just can't afford to do this.